a little bit of week nine. Let's talk a little bit about potentially the game of the year. A team that every or a, my eyes are going to be on this game. I know John's eyes are going to be on a lot like, like on this game. There's going to be a lot of eyeballs on this game because potentially this could be a team that represents the NFC in the Super Bowl. This could be the team that wins this game, could win the NFC North title. This, this is a game for battle for first place. The Lions, which are now 6-1 and one on the season, do travel to Green Bay in this Week 9 matchup, taking on the 6-2 and two Green Bay Packers. And like I said, this is a battle for first place. This is America's Game of the Week. Jordan Love has been listed day-to-day, -day, so take a little bit of muster. I think a little bit of limelight out of this game, but he should, should play. Should play. We'll see, but he should, should play. Lions are currently our three-and-a-half point favorite in this game, but this, let's go on beyond that. Let's go beyond that, right? The Detroit Lions currently have the sixth-ranked offense in the NFL, averaging 385 yards per game with 33 points per game. Good Lord, crazy. But the Green Bay Packers are even better. The fifth-ranked offense averaging 388 yards per game with 27 points per game. So when we look at this game, battle for first place, 6-2 and two Green Bay Packers, 6-1 and one Detroit Lions, the question is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Who needs this win? Who needs this win more? And when you look at it, on the surface, we have to say, oh, the Green Bay Packers need this game more. They they can't drop the home game. If they lose this game, they are two games back in the loss, like in the lost column. The Green Bay Packers, Green Bay Packers, Green Bay Packers. But I'm going to take it one step further. It is not the Green Bay Packers that need this win more. It is the Detroit Lions that need this game more. The reason is because... My man Jay, he was in the show last night. He's been all over my Detroit Post today, right? Lions fans are deeming themselves as the best team in the NFL. The Lions fans are deeming them themselves as the Super Bowl contenders. The Lions fans are deeming themselves as the best team in the NFC. And the Lions, with a three-and-a-half-point favorite, if they go into Lambeau Field and they lose this game, this could be a disastrous for the Lions fan base. It's going to be glorious for me because I'm going to put that cheese head right there. I'm going to put that cheese head on my, like on my hand. Go Pack Go, baby. Go Pack Go. But the Detroit Lions need this win more, right? They need this win more because they're supposed to win. They are supposed to win the North. They are supposed to be representatives of, of the uh, in the NFC Championship game. They are supposed to go to the Super Bowl. So if you lose to a team in your division that's going to knock you out of first place, knock you out of your uh, 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 five-game winning streak, knock you off your rocker, that's going to be a big ego blow. That's going to be a big ego blow for every Detroit Lions fan out there. That's going to be a big ego blow for the damn near perfect Jared Goff, MVP Jared Goff, I'm, like I might have the last five weeks. This is going to be such a huge ego kick to the Detroit Lions face if they lose this game. That is why they need this win more. They need to go out there and they need to prove to the world that they can handle a top team in the NFL. They need to go out and prove to the world that they can dominate another top team in the NFL. Yo, I know, Buck, I know. They beat the Vikings a couple weeks ago. Yes, the Vikings were playing good football at the time. They were undefeated, but let's just be honest. Laura, I don't want to... No, I'm not going to apologize, Laura, because your Vikings overperformed. Let's just be honest. The Vikings were an overperforming team. They were... Nobody expected them to be 5-0, 6-0, whatever they were. Nobody expected that. And truth be told, the Detroit Lions did dominate most of that game. Most of that game. So really, when you look at, if you want to flash back to last night, we had teams in our top 10 power, power run rankings. We had the Denver Broncos like, like up there. We had the Washington Commanders up there. Uh, uh, who else do we have? We had the Pittsburgh Steelers like, like, like up there. And people are like, oh, who have they played? Who have they played? Who have they played? When you look at the Lions, who have they played? They played the Rams. 
They played the Cardinals. The Seahawks was a good, good win, right? They dominated the Cowboys. They played the Vikings, an over an over overachieving team at that particular point, and then they dominated the uh, the uh, 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 Titans, right? So obviously they they haven't played anybody either, and they need this win more because the Green Bay Packers have played people. They have played teams like the Philadelphia Eagles. They have played teams such as the Indianapolis Colts. They have played teams like the Houston Texans. Yes, they lost to the Eagles, but that's besides the point. They still played them and they still battled them. The Detroit Lions guys need this game a hell of a lot more than the Green Bay Packers. And it is going to show. It is going to show that when the Lions do lose to the Green Bay Packers this Sunday, I'm going to be like, huh, I told you so. I told you so. So, guys, in the comments below, let me know. Who do you guys think needs this game more? Is it the Green Bay Packers or is it the Detroit Lions? Who needs this game more? Laura says the Lions are going to win it because the Packers suck. Well, Laura, I got two words for you. Go Pack Go. I know that's three words, but it's only two different words. So it it, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense. John says the toxic trio with a bash of douche. Whatever that's supposed to mean, John, because I don't know what the hell you're saying. The toxic trio with a What? Are you talking about power ranking show? Come on, man. You're better than that. <laughs> Joseph Zelaski. Over there on YouTube page. What's up, Joseph? I'm sure I'm butchering your name. I'm terrible with names. You'll learn that real quick here if you stick around here at the man hour. But he says the Green Bay Packers have nothing. Just saying. he ha They have nothing. The Green Bay Packers have one of the best defenses in the NFL, Joseph. The Green Bay Packers have the fifth-ranked offense in the NFL, Joseph. And this was even when Jordan Love was out for those two games insert Malik Willis, and they decided, hey, we're going to pass him like 12 times and call, 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 call it a day. So if you would take away those two games when they when Malik was Malik was, was out and you diversify that, they are the second-ranked offense in the NFL. What do you mean the Green Bay Packers have nothing? The Green Bay Packers have a damn good coach. Yes, the Lions have a good coach. He's not damn good, but he's a good coach. He's a good motivator. He's terrible, terrible at, at uh, nut crunch situation times. Let's go it on fourth down on our own 30-yard line and blow the game away, right? Let's go it for four times in the like in the red zone on fourth on fourth down, and we get turned away every time by the Dallas Cowboys. Like, it's just ridiculous, right? The Green Bay Packers are better coached. They're a better overall team. Defense, offense, special teams, the, the Packers are a great team. What do you mean they don't have nothing, Joseph? Come on, man. They have everything that your team wants. They have everything that your team wants. Let me say it for you one more time. They have everything that your team wants, Joseph. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. John says the key to the Lions is to stop Josh Jacobs. And key for the Packers is to stop the Tatum going to be David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. Yeah, I mean, you, honestly, John, you make any team one-dimensional, whether it's the Packers, whether it's the Lions, whether it's the Buffalo Bills, whether, the, whether it's the Kansas City Chiefs, the Baltimore Ravens, you make a team one-dimensional, you're going to win that game. That's obviously a key. That's an easy way out. You know what a real key to this game is? Is to put pressure on Jordan Love. That's what the Green or the uh the, the the Detroit Lions need to do is put pressure on Jordan Love. Simple as that. Laura, newest pick Tim Punnett out there, says Laura Lions need it more to defend their win so far this season. Put a stamp on the deal. Exactly, Laura. Exactly. People are boosting up the Lions. They're the best team in the NFL, Buck. Your power rankings are so wrong. They're great. I hear that all the time in my inbox, in the post. They're great. They're great. They're great. 
But then, in the same breath, you want to say, oh, the Steelers shouldn't be up there because they haven't played nobody. In the same breath, you want to say, oh, the Commanders shouldn't, shouldn't be up there. They haven't played nobody. The Lions haven't played nobody. And when they did play somebody, they got beat by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, moving down the line a little bit, that Tampa Bay loss is going to look worse and worse and worse and worse because no Mike Evans, no Chris God, I, I, God, God win, and it's going to probably be a 500, 600 team, but it's a good, good, good Tampa Bay team. It was, it, was, it, it, it was a good loss, a good loss, right? John says to tell them, tell them, them, Buck, the Lions hurt. Tell, tell me where the Lions hurt you, Buck. The Lions didn't hurt, hurt, hurt me anywhere, John. I'm just speaking facts. The facts are that the Detroit Lions need this win more. It is. Laura says the Vikings sucked that game hands down. They didn't suck. They just... Wait, let's flash back to the uh, Minnesota Vikings Day Detroit Lion game. First quarter, I was like, oh, shit, hold my beer. The Minnesota Vikings are the real deal. Laura's going to be on cloud nine come Monday show. But then they just kind of put, kind of took the foot off the gas a little bit. They didn't know how to close out that game, win that game per, per se. And Joseph's like, what happened to the number one Titans defense? I don't think the Titans have had a, had a number one defense all season long. The Titans have been shit all season long. I was trying to justify them. Oh, they should be four and four and two, five and one potentially, right? If Malik Willis or or uh, Malik, if Will, if uh, Will, if Will Levis just didn't suck so much. Titans are terrible. Titans are terrible from top to bottom. S go ahead and send Snead back to Kansas City, please, because he's rotting away there in Tennessee. <laughs> Uh, John Cunningham says, get ready for, I told you so, Buck. Y you ain't going to tell me so, bud. Sorry, buds. I'm working on my Wisconsin Western buds. <laughs> you, you aren't going to tell me so because the, the, because the Detroit Lions at some point in the season are just going to shit the bed. And hopefully it's for John, you as a Detroit Lions, lot, lot Lions fan. I hope you guys shit the bed now. I I hope I hope come week nine, you guys shit the bed, and you guys.